Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with PeptideCritic.com and today we're going to do a quick reconstitution uh, tutorial for you. Randy here is getting ready uh, you know, to start on his journey to have his summer body. And he's, he's looking good but he's a little thick with two C's so he's decided to switch from his researching protocol with Trisepatide to Retta. So here we have some of the best out there. This is Uncle Wang's uh, Retatratide. It's a 10 milligram bottle and we need to reconstitute it. Now I'm gonna throw the math up on the screen that we used using our reconstitution calculator. And for Randy, he just wants to start at one milligram. So we're going to put one milliliter of backwater in there, which will make the dose 10 units. Now. We need to use backwater. Since Randy's a researcher, today we're not gonna use Hospira. We're gonna use the same brand of backwater. So here we have some Uncle Wang's uh, backwater. It's good stuff. Um, I've actually had this tested. It is exactly 0.9% uh, benzyl alcohol. So it's cool. Um, you'll also need, uh, you'll need a syringe. Uh, some people just use the uh, diabetes syringe and just do a hundred units at a time. Uh, that works. It, it works in a pinch. I prefer not to. Um, this is a 2.5 ml lure lock and then alcohol prep pads. So our hands are washed. This area has been sanitized, including Randy. I threw him in a UV, uh, sterilizer. So first we're going to take the lids off both of these. Oh yeah, that's fun when that happens. Okay. We're gonna take the alcohol prep pad. Let's see, I'm just gonna... Okay. And you can see, this is actually a good example of what can happen. You can see the uh, seal here. Oh, come on, focus. The seal here actually got uh, pulled off a little bit. It's not the end of the world, uh, it's, as long as it still has vacuum. So with that, that's the backwater. I'm gonna pull one ml. Let's put that in the center there. Oh yeah, and it still has vacuum. air out okay one ml total cool and then the trick is here when you're um, adding to the uh, adding the water to the uh, peptide a lot of people are like oh you put it in if it shoots on it it's gonna destroy it um, there's a lot of people who believe that that's not true you can shake your freaking peptides if you want they're fine uh, it's better if you don't have a cold, a cold uh, backwater and then a, a warm peptide and then combine them. But that's just because it's harder for it to reconstitute and it takes longer. But what I like to do, it's like to push up on the um, syringe there when I put it in and that just creates a little bit of resistance so it doesn't shoot in all at once. But I mean, if you just let it go, it just sucks in because there's good vacuum on this. So. We do that, we pull it out, we cap our needle. Now what's gonna happen is this is going to, it's gonna be a little foamy, you're gonna see clumps in there and you just wanna roll it around until you know it's fully reconstituted. But again, this is a hill I'm gonna die on because I've talked to many people at many labs and so have other people and you can shake it. You can shake it all you freaking want, guys. So let's argue about that in the comments. Uh, but yeah, so after about 20 minutes, uh, usually as long as there's nothing, no particles or anything like that in there, I'd wait 20 minutes for it to fully dissolve before I filtered it and put it in a pen. Or, you know, if you're just like, I don't need to filter, hey, it's free country, uh, you pin it. So hopefully that's helpful to someone who's starting on their peptide journey if you have any questions please join us at our community forum at community.peptidecritic.com and as always happy researching from jeff and randy the research rat with peptide critic